This video is in response to the challenge put forth in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. So my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel and come along with me as I upload additional content. As for the Facebook group, we are doing a weekly challenge. Every Friday we spin the wheel. I'm a bit behind because my grandkids were here for three weeks, so I'm catching up. But each spin produces a mixed media item that must be used to create a project of your choice. So let's let Cindy spin. Okay, it's Cindy here and I'm drawing for the week of June the 25th for the weekly wheel challenge. Remember each week for the month, I'm removing the item as they're picked and here we go. Here's our first item is going to be a paper bag. Our second item will be a playing card. And our third item will be Texture. I can't wait to see what you make with a paper bag, playing card, and texture. A quick recap. We're going for a playing card, a paper bag, some texture, and we're going to create something out of these three items. Now I am just writing this on a coffee stained piece of paper so I can put it on the back of the card. I've decided to go with ATCs or ATC coins and I have a thought in mind on how I'm going to display those. So let's get started first with the paper bag. I'm going to tear off a piece, crumple it up, <clears throat> pull out the Mod Podge or the Elmer's glue and water combination and just attach that to the ATC size watercolor paper that I cut. So this is just watercolor paper that was cut into two and a half inch by three and a half inch size. I have this glued down, dried up, and now I'm just going to trim around the outside edge. And I can see some pieces there that are getting a little worn from the gluing, going to collage over the top of that. And just continue to add texture by one, crumpling up the paper bag, and two, by adding additional pieces of that paper bag until there's some relief and some texture in the front. So there we have a good, a good foundation put down, uh, some layering of the paper bag, trimming around the outside edge, and now utilizing the heat gun just to speed up the drying process. You can see my heat gun is really worn and used. To utilize the playing card, I've chosen the Joker, and I am attaching that with uh, glitter glue to the back side just trimming around the outside edges. My ATC card was cut square. The playing card has some rounded edges, so I just want to round off the watercolor paper or the ATC size card that I cut to complement the playing card. And once again, we'll dry that. Now to show the relief, I have chosen a vintage photo ink. And I'm just slightly going over the top of this to illustrate all of the crumpling or all of the wrinkles that we put into the paper bag. And I want these corners to be exceptionally dark. So I'm paying specific attention to those corners. And I'm just dipping those into the ink to make sure or onto the ink pad 
to just get those a, a nice dark brown aged vintagey look. This is that stencil that came in this month's Stencil Girl release. I just received it in the mail. I like it. I've used it in another project and I'm going to use it once again here. And there you have that stenciled on the paper bag, on the textured paper bag, onto the card. Tearing off another little piece of paper bag, going to pull in some cheesecloth and add that as well. And now to further add texture, I have a toilet paper roll that I have cut open. I like this as a substrate. I like this weight of cardboard. Punching out a couple of circles that I will ink up, run through my Big Shot embosser with an embossing folder, and glue those together just to create a focal point that has a little thickness or a little structure. So there they are coming through the embossing folder. Once again, I want to show that relief by adding some ink and sticking with the vintage photo. Gluing those together with glitter glue and then attaching them on top of the cheesecloth. So we have quite a few layers of texture here. We have the crinkling of the paper bag. We have the cheesecloth that adds some texture, an additional piece of paper bag. And of course, we texturized or embossed the toilet paper tube, cut it into those small circles, and we're adding that onto the top as well. And now to frame that, I I'm just going to go around the outside edge of the toilet paper tube focal or on that um, cheesecloth and fray that cheesecloth. Now to add some additional texture, I'm pulling out texture paste. I have a raw umber acrylic paint that I am mixing with that texture paste to make it a dark color. And I'm going to pull that same stencil out and just add some texture to the back of this card. Looking for a hotel key card. And through that stencil we go with the raw umber texture paste or the texture paste that we have made into raw umber by adding the raw umber acrylic paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there, so that gives us yet another layer of texture on the playing card. Let's scoot that out of the way. Aid the drawing a bit with that heat tool. Just dry that glue on the front, and I think we're in pretty good shape. I'm trying not to get my heat tool too close to that texture paste. I don't want to bubble it, so I am putting on a low setting and just lightly drying it. And I have written what that challenge is on this coffee dyed or coffee stained piece of paper, and I will attach that to the back and give the entire back a bit more distressing with that vintage photo. I'm 
with a little piece that needed some additional glue. And I'm just looking it over and deciding that it needs a bit darkening around the outside edge. So to frame everything in, I'm pulling out the black ink and just lightly going around the outside edges. And I'm just flipping that and doing that both sides just to kind of get that framing on both sides of, of this card. So I think it ha I have it completed, but I think it needs a little bit more. And I have a piece of tea bag that I had left over from the last weekly challenge. I'm pulling that in and applying that with some glue and water or Mod Podge Titan mixture and just adding a little more interest to the back of this card. It doesn't necessarily have to be done, but I had that piece laying there. I didn't want to waste it. And why not, right? Just trim that up. <clears throat> And with that, I think we shall call this relatively complete. I have one more little piece of paper bag that I want to put there. Just a little more glue. And we will finalize the weekly challenge of June 25th, twenty. 21. So this is the finished piece. It is a paper bag, some texture, and a playing card. So you can see the joker there on the back. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I'm Peggy with Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much to those of you that already have and come back to watch what I upload in content consistently. I appreciate your comments and I'm very appreciative of your time. Bye for now.